Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, Babylon 5, Stargate, Stargate Andromeda, Mass Effect, Halo, and many other shows and video game series all have amazing lore and are chock full of truly epic space battles. With the Battle of Coruscant at the opening of Revenge of the Sith still being my favorite sci-fi space battle in terms of sheer spectacle. But all of the universes mentioned above, as pretty as their battles are, suffer by depicting their battles as occurring at extremely close range for starships equipped with beam weaponry and light speed sensors. It makes little sense they would fight so close. But is there a reason for this? In space, no one can hear you scream, but they can see you from a very great distance. And I mean a very great distance. Even with sensors limited to the speed of light, a spacecraft can detect another at distances that seem stupid to us today. There is nowhere to hide or conceal your movements in space either, so you will see them approaching for a very long time before you enter weapons range. Your weaponry is also similarly long-ranged. While missiles and other projectiles may be limited to only a fraction of the speed of light, they will still be traveling at insane speeds. Similarly, while lasers, a light speed weapon, do suffer decay of their beams over distances, the distances involved are insane, on the order of several light minutes or even light days. The Expanse does a good job of showing how far apart ships could potentially be when they fight their battles. And The Expanse is hard sci-fi, limiting itself to technology we could plausibly have in the near future. It doesn't even consider tech like faster-than-light drives and sensors, energy shields, inertial compensators, and armor. The Honorverse no novels blend hard sci-fi elements as well as these technologies in a plausible or semi-plausible way, showing that it can be done. And yet it isn't. We see time and time again on screen, in games, comics, and even books that portray sp space combat as occurring at frighteningly close range where both fleets can easily see one another and must have been able to see one another for some time beforehand. As a means of making sense of what we often see in sci-fi space battles, we need to come up with an explanation that explains why battles occur at such close ranges, not in any single universe, but multiple ones, as it seems to be a constant of sci-fi. And so we need to establish technological con constants shared across multiple diverse universes. A tricky task given the diverse range of technologies used in various universes. But I think there is one thing which is an established element across multiple universes, and that would be electronic warfare and sensor jamming. Basically, think about it. In multiple scenes across science fiction, we hear that the enemy is jamming the hero's sensors blocking their communications and the like. The theory goes that most races and factions in science fiction have perfected electronic warfare to such an advanced and sophisticated level that they can blind enemy sensors and targeting locks up to truly knife fighting range of a few dozen kilometers. Any ship attempting to fire at longer ranges will see its fire wildly off target, and if it doesn't close the range, it simply won't be able to get the hits in while at the same time the enemy will likely be unable to find their own range on you. It's likely even a limited tech base versus your neighbors is sufficient to impede their targeting systems. In essence, it doesn't take much tech to stop others from deleting you at range, and once you can do it, it doesn't matter how advanced your foe is, you can still, and do, block their targeting. Now obviously there are some flaws with my theory. And of course, there are outlying universes where this does not apply, or applies differently depending on whether you are reading books, playing games, or watching a show or movie. There just isn't always the greatest consistency, even within a franchise. But despite this, the number of universes where this works is just stupendous, and it's always nice to find a single theory which adequately explains something across multiple universes. So I'm willing to overlook any issues with my theory due to how many universes it works on. And so that's my very simple theory which explains happily away mistakes many universes make in a single simple explanation that largely lacks any issues.